Welcome back to the newsroom here at France 24. You are watching the morning edition. Now, the Serbian artist Marina Abramovic is best known for her performance art in which she mutilates her body. Well, four decades after her controversial arrival on the art scene, she has never been more in demand. Her show at MoMA in New York, which finished in May, was one of the 15 most attended exhibitions in the world last year. Well, now her first solo show in the UK for over 10 years is getting underway. Let's have a look. In a career spanning four decades, Marina Abramovic has pushed the boundaries of performance art. As a child in Yugoslavia, she painted the world around her. Eventually, she turned to that world and used it as her canvas. Using her body was a natural progression. And I remember the first time I really uh, made performance in the front of the public. I understood this was my media. In the early 1970s, she performed a series of works, Rhythm, where she pushed herself beyond all boundaries. In the beginning, it was, um, my whole work was about confronting my own fears. And this was fear of pain, fear of suffering, fear of dying. But now I wanted to stage these fears in the form of performance and to go in the front of the public, um, uh, showing to the public if I can actually get rid of these fears by doing it, they can do this in their own life. I, be I want to become their mirror. <laughs> The Listen Gallery in London is showcasing those early works alongside her most recent in a sort of retrospective. A lot of this work has never been produced and shown as a whole. Parts have been left out or things have been not included for certain reasons. So for the first time, this is the entire body of the Rhythm series. Her performance, The Artist is Present, at the Museum of Modern Art in New York earlier this year, broke the world record for attendance at a solo exhibition for a living artist. People are naturally drawn to the 63-year-old. She's obviously very beautiful, very striking looking, but also it's the aura she exudes. She is completely calm and focused, even with her most difficult and most personally testing and injurious uh, artworks. She's always incredibly self-controlled. And that makes people look, and that makes them very interested. Legions of fans turned out for the opening of her first solo show in London, where her newest work, Back to Simplicity, is featured beside her oldest. In the early 70s, it was a very physical approach to performance, like my old work is like that. But later on, it's not. It's mental part is the most difficult. I could not do Back to Simplicity piece if I didn't do all this before. So there is a kind of logical continuation of how things come. I could not start with simplicity because my mind was not there. I have to start with complicated things to get to simplicity. And it seems that is where she's headed. Well, Marina Abramovic is showing at the Listen Gallery. That's until the 13th of November. Well, I'm joined in the studio by Sylvain Bourmeau, 